Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Space Crew Blind. You remember how I said I'll uh, look up the whole purge thing and the how to play? Well, it says the security officer station has control over the atmospheric purge system of the ship. This can be used to extinguish ship-wide fires by decompressing areas of the ship and starving them of oxygen. So that's cool. Be careful, however, as members of your crew may be thrown out into space in the process. It doesn't say anything about um, alien borders. So yeah, I don't really know about that. Anyway, we've got some new gear. Let's see. Uh, we got some new gloves. Oh, these are quite a lot uh, stronger. These gloves provide good protection to the wearer at the expense of mobility. But yeah, we definitely want these for uh, Dr. Loco because he never really moves much. And we've got powered boots. These powered boots provide some additional mobility to the wearer. That's kind of cool, but he wants uh, armor. I'm also going to give the gloves to the... Uh, people firing to the uh, weapons officers and uh, these guys have nothing hmm so you are definitely getting the quick boots made noob there so you're a little, a little faster well what this kind of looks like sci-fi wise is that they would be magnetic boots but uh, yeah I don't think that's that's gonna be the case I'm sure they're going to be uh, provided as well later on. The Solosphere, you're usually not moving either, so you could get a full preset as well. But you're usually not very much attacked, are you? Yoga is, though. I'm going to give him the full stuff. Wait a second, does that give him the... No, it gives him the other stuff. Let's give him the light armored suit. The gloves and the armored boots, and of course the helmet. Nice. Okay. Now let's go to the spacecraft because there are some new things here as well. Weapons. We've got. Oh, we've got. What the heck is that? Plasma cannon plus auto cannon? What? A weapon pod that combines a plasma cannon and an auto cannon. Plasma cannon requires reactor power, auto cannon can operate. What? Oh, so you can switch them out? Oh, that's that's kind of cool, actually. Unfortunately, it's just the uh, the Mark One version, but that's kind of cool. Yeah. Of course, we've got the Mark Two everywhere, and I'm assuming they don't switch themselves. So now we've got the standard uh, low emissions engine, which is uh, a little more uh, a little easier to destroy. Look at that. That looks cool. A low performance engine designed for safety. It allows moderate evasiveness and is not well armored. When damaged, radiation emissions are very low. Oh, that's that's the thing. So it just has protection. Hmm. We haven't really had a problem with that so far. So I think I'm just going to stick with the normal ones. And we might buy more escape pods. They're quite expensive, though. Very expensive. Very expensive. They look cool, though. These enchants have an automatic recovery. Well, for now, uh, we're just gonna go to the missions. <laughs> Transport supplies, we've already done that. Investigate phasmid activity. This one is quick. And it also doesn't pay much. Should we try a medium one? Let's try a medium risk one. Phasmid forces have been detected near the asteroid belt data. Uh, so, sorry, Delta. It's imperative we wipe them out before they establish a foothold in the sector. I've got a... Wait a second, this is medium risk. Ah, it gives you a lot more research. It gives you the same amount of money, but a lot more research. Let's do it. And see if we regret not getting those escape pods. We've received classified information that the enemy champion, Hubert Garrett, has been active. Okay, as per usual. So, uh, off you go. And... Off you go. Yeah, he's got replenish shields and stealth mode. Shield recharge rate. Wait a second. If he's on this this thing, then he gets a higher shield recharge rate. Oh, but then you don't have anyone to deter it. That doesn't work well. We need another person. Let's see. Yeah. I don't really know why you have to purge all of them, because there's clearly uh, an airlock here. I mean, yeah, an airlock here and here. So you could purge it through here. Just purge this room, for example. 
Uh, so stealth mode. Activate stealth mode to be temporarily invisible to enemy fighters. Your weapons officers will not uh, attack while in stealth mode. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Um, hmm. But I don't know. I mean, the shield recharge rate is nice. Because I'm assuming now shield, re shield recharge rate is 100% instead of 133. So that kind of sucks that you have to choose between that when you're having a gunner or nothing. I mean, or having them here. Because I need Solosphere on the radar. We can't just be blind to it. Hmm. Power! Uh-oh, here we go. And there's more of them as well. So we are going to call for fighter support. I want focus fire. Get him. Come on. There we go. Focus fire, focus fire, focus fire. Focus fire, come on. Is he too far away? There we go. Now we're getting them down. Oh, look at that. Oh, our shields are down. Come on. I'll make you captain leave a log. <laughs> Where is he? Uh-oh. Stuff coming. That's not good. You know what? Evasive. Ah, <laughs> Board this. Unfortunately, that also means that we cannot quite get the uh, ace. Did we destroy the ace? No. He's still there. There he is. And he's getting his shield back up. Great. Oh, that's not good. Come on. Oh, uh, he's got all of his shields back. That sucks. Okay, basic pilot thing is done. There's more enemies coming. Yeah, get get you from Garrett. They actually got us held down a little bit now. But uh, shoot are right back up. There we go, there we go. Come on. He's going straight for us. Ow. We need shields. Oh no! Great. Go and get him. Attack enemies, attack enemies, there's more coming. Oh. No, don't disengage from combat, Mr. Green Man. Come back. Oh, that's bad. Okay, stow. No, stow it there. That's really in the wrong place to stow, to be honest. Oh great, more of them coming, more of them coming, evasive piloting, do it, no, they're on the ship. <sighs> the border is damaging the shield recharger, yeah I know, there's lots of stuff going on. Don't repair that. Gravity generator requires repair. Everything going bad. Oh good, now there's fire. Brilliant. That sucks, and he's still there. Is that him? No, he's gone. We'll meet again, little pink man. Well, that sucked. Oh yeah, go and extinguish the fire. Actually, you know what? Just do it like this. Purge one. It takes too long to purge. Purge it now. There you go. I'll fix that just yeah. So it's not going to keep going clink clink. And it's going to make me think that something else is going on. I also want uh, Dr. Loco to heal up, I think. 
We really need... To, I need to change where the position of these uh, things are. It, it just sucks that you have to actually pay for it. And you know what? Let's speed things up here. Speed things up. There you go. Run! Run! Warning, radiation. Okay, that's pretty good. Just need new needs to uh, heal up slightly. Oh, he he goes around quick. Does that actually help in zero G? I haven't checked. We need to check that. Remaining capacity. Okay. Let's let's see this. Let's do it like this, and then let's go around. No, it doesn't look like. Well, let's see. Yeah, it does actually. Yeah. It does affect also zero-g movement or microgravity. Okay. So, once again, we didn't get the guy. The problem is they have shields in this game, which means that if you don't get them in one or maybe two goes when they're there, their shields will just replenish and make your day a lot worse. That's a problem. Incoming enemies. Yeah, that is definitely not enough crew. I would like one more crew, really, to have uh, this station filled as well. That would be perfect. Because right now, you don't really use most of these things. Because they're just not there. I mean, they're just not practical. Focus fire. They're coming straight for us. Come on. Oh, they hurt so much. Too defensive. More coming. You know what? You can focus fire as well. Those guys. No, shoot the guys in the, the back. They're coming straight for us. Alright, focus now. Come on. Don't fire this. Okay, they are coming towards us as well. Fine. Nice. Nicely done. Yeah, look at that. Focus fire. It does help quite a bit. More of them. Quest fighter support is ready. Excellent. Ouch. Base of piloting, please. The reactor is taking damage. Let's go and fix it then. Real quick. Destroyed enemy fighter. Excellent. I love how he's getting thrown around. Come on. Let's finish it off. Alright, there we go. Evasive piloting is, I mean, is still going on. That's really good. Even though, like I said, our guys don't really uh, hit a lot when that's happening. And he's back to defensive. Good. All shields restored. Because that, not only does uh, that keep you from getting hit a lot, it also, um, well, avoids borders. And it allows you time to replenish shields. Let me check the scanner. Nothing else on there. Okay, good. We'll probably have to use overdrive and stuff. And focus. I, I'm assuming you can do both. Nice. Come on. I have to say, I love the sound of the plasma cannons. They sound sort of corny sci-fi. Well, not corny. I, I like it. Sounds good. And nicely done, Yoger. Or whoever that was. I think it was actually... Hex no, it was, I think it was Nade Noob that did that. I'm not sure. Alright, ev everything good? Alkov can go and heal up. Yeah, so far so good. We just have problems with the uh, champions. So I think what we'll have to do... We'll definitely have to change this. This uh, weapon here is useless because it always comes to come through that door. And we have to fix the uh, oxygen generator. Let's charge up in the meantime. We'll just wait for him to fix that. I wish there was a way that they, they would return to their original position after doing that. Maybe like, I don't know, holding shift or something. I don't know. Power! Okay, so this is the last one. 
So now we just have to take out all the enemies. Let's do defensive piloting. Enemies incoming. Yeah, and we're going away from the asteroids. That's good. I don't know if the uh, phasmids actually care about the asteroids. Focus fire accuracy 100%. I like that. Big guys coming from that side. Ow, they hurt. Shields go down so quickly. Oh, these are different. I think these are different. You know what? Let's call for fighter support. Beta 8, ready for action. Focus fire is probably a complete overkill here because these are big targets. Nice, there they go. Nice. But then again, they still miss them, look at that. Even from point-blank range, pretty much. Yeah, but the auto cannons are very good against these. Come on, give me more, because they know there's going to be more. There we go. Uh-oh, troop transport. Get the troop transport, please. We'll do evasive maneuvers if, if uh, required. Scan the scanner shows nothing for the moment. Yeah, that guy will get a shot, but we'll do evasive piloting before that happens. And there they go. No, you don't. <laughs> Sayonara! Yeah, get him in the meantime. We can also do stealth. I think the... Nice, there's a troop transport. That's not a fighter, that's a troop transport. I wonder what else they're going to bring to the table. Okay. That was not it yet, though. No, that was it. Excellent. Thank you very much for your support, guys. You want to heal up? Retreating to refuel. Nice. All right. Well, that was a pretty good mission. It's unfortunate we didn't get the champion. But I think we'll have to do focus and overdrive and have fighter support in the meantime or just have better weapons. Uh, attack him with plasma first and then with auto cannons. And I suppose just tag the ace, nothing else. Because otherwise they, they shoot everything. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna have to be something like that, I guess. Everyone pretty much at full health apart from Solisphere. But yeah, we need that, uh, we need that raider at the moment. Oh, look at the sun. Oh, that looks so cool. Unidentified Phasmic Technology. Let's go with that. It's scannable. There's some Phasmic Technology debris near your position. Scan it so that our researchers can learn more about it. So we just scan this. We don't have to actually pick it up, right? We'd like to pick it up. Focus fire is ready to use. Excellent. What is that? How do we scan it? With Solisphere, I'm assuming? Scan! <laughs> What is it? Use a scan button. Well, that takes a while. A sitting duck in the meantime. Enemies incoming. Go! <laughs> we can't pick it up, it seems. How long for fighter support? Actually, not that long. I mean, it's a third done, pretty much. Okay, where are they? Focus fire, please. Oh, there it is. And you know what? Overdrive. Overdrive. Get that one. It's a troop transport. I don't want to evade a pilot now. I'll have to. So let's see. So Hex Demon is actually. So let, let's cancel that out. Yeah, okay. So he was taking some radiation damage. But what happens? That only sort of filled his health bar a little bit. It didn't actually take it away. When will it take it away, I wonder, though? Maybe if he gets to the... Um, if he gets to the health station in time, he can actually save that part of his health. Uh-oh. Shield is gonna go down. Need to repair that. Hello. 
Boom! Oh, we've got zero shields. Okay, we need to go stealth. No, 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 no. Yogurt, come on. Stealth. Ow, ow. Stealth mode, please. Oof. Okay, excellent. So we got a little bit of time. We could try to escape with stealth mode, I suppose, but now nah, we're going to destroy them all. That's pretty cool, actually. I like it. And Hex Demon's health did not go down. Interesting. Go and heal up quickly. You've got 20 seconds. Go. Oh, bloody hell. They're just adding more and more stuff. Oh, this is, this is really bad, actually. We're gonna get attacked by so much stuff all at the same time. You know what? Four minutes to charge. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. It's coming back. Go. Where's my fighter support? It's not ready yet. Oh, this is bad. Focus fire. It's not ready. Focus fire yet. Ah! Do evasive. I mean, uh, defensive. Holy moly. There's so much stuff. Lower shields low. <laughs> what does the radar say? Everything is there. The entire Phasmid army Yogur is getting hit. Yogur is getting hit a lot. We need our shields. At least the power shields. Come on. Replenish shields, please. So what does that? It takes a little while to do it, it seems. Oh, great. Attack enemies. Attack enemies. Why do I have to click that? Just do it. Ow. Oh, we're doing fairly good, despite the fact that we're two gunners down now. <laughs> They're getting pushed back. Okay. Go, 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 go. Nice. Fighter support is available. Go. I'd be overkilled, but we need it. Oh, shoot. We need to purge that area. Can I... Yeah, I can I can do this. While it's purging. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, there's just one more. Nice. Fire spotted again! Go and extinguish the fire. Okay, let's go home. Thank you for your help, guys. Jeez. <laughs> All of these are like... Literal fight for life. They're not... Uh, they're not easy, but I like it. I think the difficulty is just right. And he repairs it automatically. I like that. Uh, I'm gonna leave it here for now, I think. Well, I mean, it's the end of the mission, so it doesn't matter. All right. Jeez. Engage. Oh, shoot. This is not to Earth yet. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Enemies incoming. This is not back to Earth yet. <gasps> Come on, Yogurt. Heal up quickly. Uh-oh. I'm already there. Thanks, Demon. Please focus fire. Oh, the lower part of the ship is in bad shape. Oh, no. They're not going straight for us yet. And I did overdrive. Oh, that was a bad mistake. That was a bad mistake. That's a wasted focus. Now they're coming towards us. See? Overdrive! Oh, jeez. Oh. Get him. Nice. Oh, he's doing a good job. No more overdrive, please. Go and heal up. I don't think there's anything else there yet. I'll repair that quickly and then repair the... Oh, jeez. Where are they? No, there, there was something else. There we go. Ow! Made noob. Repair the, the, the reactor. We can't be sitting ducks here. Come on. And then we'll need to go stealth. 
If at all possible. You need to go and heal up. Oh, there's no more healing. Oh, no. Okay. Let's go stealth for now. It's pretty bad. We'll just wait until some of our focus and stuff is ready again. Hopefully. Okay, shields have been restored. Medkits can also be used to heal crew as well as reviving capacity. Crew. Now how much to, to charge the base? 1 minute 26. Yeah, that's... Uh, no. Not good enough. Okay, stealth mode is going. Go, go, go. Get him. There's only a few left. Four of them. Ow. Plasma fighter eliminated. Excellent. Forward shield is low. I know. Oh, there's the... Uh... Well, we can do evasive piloting. Get the troop transport, please. No, you don't. Evasive piloting recharges really quickly, it seems. I love it. Anything else on the radar? No. Thanks. Thankfully. Thank the stars! Okay, excellent. That's the troop transport down. And just two more remaining. Alright. Solosphere and Nate Noob are in a bad shape, but we've got full shields for now. The lower armor is in really bad shape. Nice! There we go. Alright. And they're taking that guy out real good. It's another troop transport. I thought we took it out. Alright, off we go home. Before more arrive. Anything to repair? No. Not for the moment. Oh, that was not an easy mission, but uh, it was it was doable. We need a better med bay. That's what we definitely need. Charging for hyper jump power diverted to engines. Engage. Hello, Earth. We we love you. We're back. Uh, yeah, I kind of miss the holes everywhere from bomber crew but it wouldn't quite make sense here because well then you'd have a depressurization of the entire ship pretty much i suppose that might be a thing i don't know and probably these um stations give you uh you know oxygen and stuff i don't know how they did it we'll see Oof. yeah we didn't get him but we did get the plasma tech so we got 1,750 research. That's good. I don't think anyone level... Nope. We're level 5, not level 6. We unlock something in level 6. Oh yeah, secondary skill, of course. Ah! Oh, now we're talking. Because we did that research. Oh, well, we're going to see what we unlocked next time. Let's see the news. Let's wait until the uh, tick goes around. Look at that guy. Phasmid champion Hupen Garrett encountered by crew of Firefly. High hopes as word spreads of many recent successful UDF missions. Experienced research professor Jill Scott safely recovered from Saturn Prometheus outpost. As mid champion, and so on and so forth. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Give the video a like if you liked it, or a dislike if you disliked it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. More to come. Have a good one. Bye bye.